Hi, my name is Shannon Kringen, and I am an artist and an art model for medical students and art students, and I do multimedia art. Mostly I'm a photographer. I'm going to do a video about self-confidence uh, versus insecurity, and maybe a little bit about ego. And I want to say I am in my 40s, and not to be crude, but here's what I look like. <laughs> Here's me in my underwear. <laughs> I am a figure model, so to me, bodies are no big deal. You know, I'd be nude if I could, if I was allowed to be nude on uh, Facebook and Twitter and Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and all that, I would be. I used to be nude. I used to have a public access TV show called Goddess Crane where I was nude with, I painted myself and danced around. But this is what I look like. I eat healthy and I exercise. And I get paid full time as a model for artists. There, I'm going to put my clothes back on. Sorry if that offended anyone. <laughs> um, but I'm pretty much a very honest kind of a person. Okay, my hair's a mess. So I am Shannon Kringen. And I realized that I put myself down a lot. And it's weird because I'm a fairly successful, I took a workshop. I, I was part of a class earlier today about body language and confidence, and I think as this nice Facebook friend of mine invited me to join in with this Skype kind of video conference type of a class, and I realized that um, I'm thinking about, because I'm a model, which means that I stand and sit and pose nude in front of people from head to toe, I'm nude, and I stand and there's people around me 360 degrees, and I'm not perfect. I don't have a perfect body, but I'm pretty fit and I have pretty good DNA and I'm really grateful for that. But I stand in front of people and then I realize body language is very important. When you're closed off, I realize if I'm slumped over, I feel more insecure and vulnerable. And then when I expand my chest and <laughs> move my body in different ways and the way you use your voice, has something to do with your confidence, but I realize that I, I tend to think that I'm not very successful, but that's because I'm low income. But the thing is, I've been low income my whole life. I don't know. I, my goal in life has never been to be rich. But let me just say that <laughs> this video is a little bit scattered all over the place. I'm just going to do a short video right now, and I'll do a longer one later when I have time to organize my thoughts because today. I am going to go model for art for medical students, which means I pretend to be a patient and I let them do breast exams and gynecological exams on me. They hire men for prostate exams and they hire women for female exams. And they also hire us to read a script and act out a role of having a physical symptom and we pretend like we're this other person that has certain physical symptoms and then this uh, medical student has to guess what's wrong with us and practice being a doctor and diagnose and order tests and labs and tests and so that's partly what I do but the thing is I realize I am a very creative um, entrepreneurial kind of person and I think of myself as kind of I'm kind of introverted and kind of shy in some ways and yet I do these videos. I did a public access TV show in Seattle called Goddess Kring for 15 years every week. I did 28 minute monologues. I danced around nude, partly to get attention because I knew people were channel surfing and I needed to do something to get people to go, what is this? Uh, but also because I'm a nude figure model and it kind of, I'm an American citizen and it kind of bothers me that Americans are so weirded out by nudity. And so I was partly doing a political statement of, hey, there's nothing wrong with the naked body. Maybe we could get over that. Because I've traveled a lot to Europe. I've been to Europe seven or eight times. I have friends that live in different countries like Norway and England and Scotland and Holland. And I've been to France and Austria and Spain and lots of other countries in Australia and Mexico. And there's a lot of nude statues in other countries. So part of why I was nude was that. And also I studied graphic design. My mother's an artist. My dad is very musical and into uh, comedy and music. So I was raised by two very creative parents who divorced. And that influenced me in many ways. 
I studied graphic design, and so I sort of fell into being a model in the early 90s when I was in my 20s. Now I'm in my 40s and I model full-time. Ever since 1997, I've modeled full-time. And it's interesting that I tend to put myself down and think I'm not all that successful because I could be a lot more successful. I'm a really good photographer, a shoe painter. I know graphic design. I know color and composition. I'm good at silk screening. I'm good at printmaking. Uh, I'm a very good model, meaning that I know how to hold a pose and be asymmetrical and stand in an aesthetic or sit or lay down in an aesthetically pleasing way. And I hold very still for up to three or four hours at a time, although I get breaks every 20 minutes. Usually figure models pose for 20 minutes, get a five minute break, and then pose again. And if it's a return to the same pose, they put tape around your hands and your feet so you can uh, mat, or they put like a tape on the wall where you're staring so you can stare at the same spot on the wall as you're posing. And then they draw you and paint you. But my point is, I sort of taught myself how to be a figure model. I didn't take a class or anything. But I took a lot of art history classes, and I'm familiar with Renaissance paintings and classical paintings. And I'm very much kinesthetic and in tune with dance. And I love to dance. Uh, and so I kind of know what, art, what artists want in a model, and mostly to be still and to be inspiring and to, to strike an interesting pose that you can hold still and relax so they can draw you and paint you. But not, not only that, but I've managed to build my own freelance career as a full-time model. And yet I keep thinking of all the things that I haven't done. Like, like I also offer my photographs. I have over 4,000, I think, photographs on my Flickr website. And I have a website my, of my own that I've had for 16 years called ShannonKringen.com. That's my real name, .com. And I, I link everything to that. I have five blogs and I have a YouTube channel and Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and my own artwork that I do. I abstract paintings and drawings and shoe painting. I've met Tori Amos, the musician, and I painted shoes for her. I mean, I've done all these really interesting things and yet I tend to think of myself as not successful. Like I could be doing so much better. And I was going to say, I know how to make money as a model because I know how to find people that want to hire me as a medical model and an art model. But I, and I have actually sold, I self published a book called Art Identity and the Sacred. And I sold, I made $300 profit on it because I sold about 30 copies. So I made about $300 profit on that book, and that's a success. And I'm happy that people enjoy my work and they bought my book. I mean, I do really high quality, interesting artwork. I have a, a background in graphic design. Again, I know color and composition really well. My compositions are very good. And I'm a good model. But it's been easier for me to make a living as a model than it has as an artist because I don't, I, I've sold hand painted shoes. I've made probably over $1,000 in the last 30 years, you know, pa hand painting shoes for people. But that's just money here and there. Uh, and then I have made money. I've sold greeting cards. I've sold calendars. I've sold books. I've had my uh, my art in non-juried galleries. I haven't tried very hard to get into juried galleries where the gallery takes 50 or 60 percent of the profit from the artist. My mother is a visual artist and she encourages me to try to get into fancy galleries, but I haven't really done that. I prefer, I was going to say, I have I actually have, have many of my photos published because I offer my photos on Flickr under the Creative Commons license, which means that it's free for people to publish my photos. And I've had BillMoyers.com and PBS.org and KUOW and BuzzFeed. And I've had some national websites publish some of my images, and I'm very proud of that and happy about that. A part of me is afraid of success, afraid that it's egotistical to be too successful. And my voice and my body language, like right now I'm talking on video, I'm speaking into the video camera, and I'm comfortable doing this because I, I hope that you are getting something out of this. You are the audience or you are the people that are listening to what I'm saying. But in person, it's hard for me to do this. It's hard for me to speak in this way in front of other people. Though I have done open mic 
few nights ago, I did open mic poetry, spoken word, and I like my poems. I, I, I come up with phrases that rhyme, authentic ejaculation of my soul, molten orange liquid glow, anger takes its toll, status quo blows, intimacy chasing me, feel like it's erasing me. And I, I come up with these interesting phrases, and I like them, and I'm confident about them. Volcano ash erupting green, enchanted fingers filter rain. Like I come up with these sort of musical sounding phrases that rhyme. And I'm very inspired by music of Tom Petty and Tori Amos. And I listen to lots of music. And I did this poetry spoken word thing, but I was very nervous and I felt uncomfortable. My voice, I think, sounded good on the microphone, but my body language was all slumped over and I felt shaky and I felt worried about what the audience was thinking about me and judging me as being a weirdo or whatever I was worried. I was so self-conscious that it was hard to fully enjoy what I was doing. And yet I'm glad I had the guts to get up there. And I've done open mic poetry many times. I've even done, I was invited to perform in Seattle at a place called Chop Suey. And me and this uh, musician friend of mine from Portland, Oregon named Claxton Kent, he and I got on stage and we did a full 20, 25 minute show, 20 or 25 minute show. We opened for a, a person named Space Lady, which was very cool. And so I've done some really interesting things. I've done a little bit of theater and yet I feel really insecure. And I was an extra in a film called American Heart and I got to meet Jeff Bridges. I've met Tori Amos, painted shoes for her. I did all these really interesting things and yet I feel insecure. I feel like I'm a loser sometimes and it's kind of ridiculous. Like I've built a freelance career as a model. I full-time work as a model and I do my artwork and I put it up there as a creative commons and I've had like dozens of websites. Sometimes I Google and I find photos of mine that have been published all over the world in other countries and in the U.S. And I'm really proud of that. I love seeing my photos published. If you go to shannonkringen.com and you click on my Flickr, you can see a lot of my photos. I do self-portraits. I do landscapes. I do animals. I do urban decay. I do um, many different kinds of photography. And I like photography because it's so versatile. And yet I make a living as a model because it's, it's easy again for me to play the role of a model because I know what they want. I don't know quite how to find the audience that wants to buy my artwork. And so I offer my photos under a Creative Commons license because the idea of copywriting my photos and not letting anybody use them unless they pay me is not appealing to me because I want my work out there. And let's face it, it's easy to get photos for free these days online. There's millions of photos. And in fact, BillMoyers.com chose a photo that I took of the Seattle City Council member who's a socialist, uh, Shawama Shawant. I'm not sure how you pronounce her name, but they chose my photo. Now, there's hundreds of photos online of her, and yet they chose my photo because it was an interesting, eye-catching photo, and they saw it on Flickr, and they used it. And KUOW uh, is a radio station in Seattle. They used a self-portrait of mine with face paint on because it was an article about public access TV and there's a documentary I'm in called Channeling Yourself, another documentary I'm in called uh, Typecast Dragon, Typecast My Dragon Sleeps, Monkey Moon, Coming Soon, Phases of Seeing the Gray Balloon, that's part of one of my poems. There's a documentary about me called Typecast Dragon that's free to watch online, just search Typecast Dragon. So there's all these creative things I'm involved with and yet I feel like I'm not successful or that I'm afraid if I'm too successful, then other people will think I'm egotistical or narcissistic. And I have been accused of being narcissistic because I take a lot of photos of myself. The thing is, I'm, I take really beautiful photos of myself. Like, I'm not just doing selfies. I'm actually, I feel like there's a clone of me. There's me, the model, and then there's me, the photographer. And I'm really good at both. And so I combine the two. Like Frida Kylo, the painter, said she'd love to paint herself because she's always available. She's a good model for herself. And that's how I feel. Since I actually am a model for other artists, I'm also a model for myself. So these are some of the things that I'm involved in is modeling, photography, uh, shoe painting, body painting, face painting. I ride in the world, world naked bike ride in Seattle. I mean, like, you know, I'm confident again, <laughs> not to freak you out, but this is what I look like. So I was, you know, God gave me good DNA and I exercise and eat healthy food. I don't eat any wheat. I take good care of myself. I drink a lot of water. I don't drink or smoke or do any drugs. 
And I also um, battle with OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder, at least in my thinking. I don't turn the light switch off and on 20 times a day, but I, I have obsessive thoughts and I have some anxiety and depressive tendencies and mood swings. So the fact that I'm actually as successful as I am is quite amazing because I deal with certain challenges. Again, I'm afraid of being egotistical. For, you know, It's easier to put myself down than it is to embrace myself. And I like to think that I can inspire other people to do positive, creative things in their lives. I mean, I, I, I also uh, went back to college and got my BA degree, although I don't really care about having a degree. I'm proud that I accomplished the goal of getting my bachelor's degree but I haven't really used that for trying to get a job because I don't really want a normal job. What I like to be a freelance. I like, I'm a full-time uh, medical model and art model. I would love to learn how to make money with my photographs somehow. I love that my photographs are published. I self-published a book. I mean, these are some of the things I've done and I'm just making this video. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions or comments, really, I will respond to any questions or comments that you have. I meant to do a five minute video, but hey, it's 16 minutes so far. So I guess I better cut this off now, but I'm gonna make another video later. I'm gonna go model for medical students today and then art students tomorrow. Yesterday I modeled for medical students in the morning and art students in the afternoon. Just in case you're wondering, medical models, we get paid about $30 an hour, but we don't get full-time work. It's seasonal and so it's like every Every spring we get a bunch of work and then we just like every few months or so we get like work and so I make a few hundred dollars here, a few hundred dollars there, a couple thousand here, a couple thousand there. But I'm low income. Like I probably made about $18,000 last year. That's it. <laughs> My rent is fairly low. Uh, long story on that, but I have an amazing landlord. I go to the thrift store, I go to food banks, uh, I shop at Costco and Trader Joe's. You know, I know how to live cheap and all of my time mostly goes into my website and my artwork and my modeling career and I love what I do. It's a little bit chaotic and a little complicated. My income taxes are pretty complicated. I just finished doing my income tax. I had to pay $700 this year in income tax, which I'm a little upset about, but that's because I made a lot of 1099 income where they don't take the taxes out, so I had to pay all the taxes myself. So I did all the deductions that I could and I still had to pay $700 in tax. Hey, but you know, I knew something like that might happen and I was prepared for it, so I'm doing fine. So I just wanted to share some of my experiences with you and I'm a full-time freelance person and I guess I, I realize I'm more successful than I thought I was, especially when you think about my, I'm highly sensitive, I'm a little introverted, not that there's anything wrong with being introverted. See, some people think being extroverted is superior to being introverted. I'm sort of an introverted extrovert, meaning I like to... I like to be a model in front of people. I like to be on stage from time to time. I've done a little performance art and performing. And yet I love to spend time alone with my cat. I like to walk alone. I, I spend a lot of time by myself because I like to just do my own thing and do my artwork, but then I like to share it with an audience. So I guess the extrovert in me comes through when I videotape myself and I do my artwork and I share it and I show it. And online, I'm, I'm kind of more of an extrovert and in person, I'm a bit more quiet. So I guess I'm just trying to figure all this stuff out. Like, how can I be of service to the world? How can I, can I inspire you to follow your dreams? I wish more people would do what they loved and like uh, let go of doing things that they don't enjoy as much as possible. So this is a nice long video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll do more later. If you have any questions or comments, I will be happy to make a video based on questions or comments if you want me to. Thank you for listening. Again, my name is Shannon Kringen. My sort of stage name is Goddess Kring because I've done a lot of performance art and that's kind of what I call myself. But because um, I, I want to be more like a god or a goddess, you know, more like I think humans can rise to the occasion of embodying really positive, amazing traits. So I'm not a religious person, but I'm a spiritual person. So I do believe human beings are capable of coming from a place of love and being brave and authentic and connecting with other people in a positive, constructive way, as opposed to being really competitive and mean to each other and fighting and that we can uplift each other. So to me, that's like a spiritual practice of feeling connected 
And I love Bernie Sanders. I'm a big Bernie Sanders fan, just in case you wonder about that. Okay, so thank you for listening. I, I would actually love a female president, but Hillary Clinton to me seems like a banker and a CEO. And I feel like, you know, a president of the United States should be more like Bernie Sanders, which is a human being that's a pub, that wants to be a public servant. And the main interest he has is not in becoming wealthy, but it's to help make the world a better place that works for society and all citizens, rich, poor, middle class, the full spectrum. So that's how I feel about that. I'm just playing with my hands at this point. Okay, thank you for listening. Shannon Kringen, Goddess Kring. So feel free to, I, I seem to get a lack of response on my videos lately. So if you have anything to say, even if you don't like this, you could say, I don't understand you. I don't get you. Why are you doing this? You're a narcissist. You can say that if you want. <laughs> you can say anything you want. Although I prefer positive, constructive comments. I'm uh, just curious how this video affects you. If you want to let me know, feel free to give me some kind of feedback. I learn and grow as I receive feedback from other people, giving and receiving feedback and mirrors with people it kind of makes me tick okay thanks for listening sorry this rambled on so long it's 20 minutes but i'm trying not to apologize for myself you know what i have a lot to say i should probably write a whole book i should probably make more videos i used to do a video every week 28 minute video every single week and put it on television and i kind of miss doing that i guess i do have a lot to say so I won't apologize for people who think this video is too long. I'm sorry. I have a lot to say. I think that what I say is worthwhile. And I could also try to make a five minute condensed version. Somebody said they wanted to share a Bernie Sanders video that I made. If I could make it shorter because I posted a 20 minute video of why I love Bernie Sanders. And I made a five minute video because of what she said. And then she didn't share it so i felt kind of sad and my feelings were hurt a little bit by that but i don't know i guess she didn't like my five minute video because i showed it to her and she said thanks and then i never heard from her again so <clears throat> i think she just didn't like my style of video you know i'm not everyone's cup of tea my brain's a little different and but i think i have a valuable um see i'm trying not to feel so defensive I'm a unique person. I'm not everyone's cup of tea. So I have to just be myself and share from my wisdom, from my heart, from my soul, from my brain, and just put it out there in the world. And if you like what I do, hey, that's wonderful. And thank you. Feel free to spread this video anywhere you want. Um, so be authentic, be yourself, no matter what they say, which is part of a Sting song I love called Englishman in New York. And this tattoo I designed, and it, me it means be yourself no matter what they say. Be yourself no matter what they say. It's part of a Sting song called Englishman in New York, which I love. So there it is. Okay, thanks for listening. This is Shannon Kring and Goddess Kring signing out for now. Bye. Thank you.